Hello again, YouTube. I'm doing my best to run this phone out of space today. Um, and hopefully I don't do that because that always creates issues with getting my stuff uploaded, which I'm already like behind uploading these dang videos. Uh, so Saturday, December 5th, I'm uh, sorry, Saturday, December 4th, 6.15 p.m. Hey, I got my rent paid on the 4th. That's uh, not awful. But yeah, I can see where Lon's a little irritated. I mean, I, I get it. You know, it's due on the first, and and uh, you know, back when I was in a less uh, rough financial situation, I was usually pretty good at getting into them the week before. Um, sometime, you know, in the, in the last week of the month, I would always swing. Not always, but I would I would usually in the last week of the month I'd swing by and and you know catch him at his convenience and. Hand him the hand him the money order for the rent, or before my I lost my housing assistance for my uh, copay on the rent, and and uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Priscilla has never, you know, since I and, and she's been living with me for many many years, paying zero into rent. So now that she's been contributing, and granted, she paid most of it this month. She did. But, you know, there's just no, there just seems to be no, no recognition of the fact that she lived there for years without paying anything. I mean, it, it could be argued that, that she owes me the next, you know, that she should be paying it all for the next three years. I mean, that would certainly be fair. I think that would be fair. I don't think she'd go for it, but I, I certainly feel that's that's justified. Um, I forget exactly when she moved in, but it does feel like it's been over three years, maybe closer to four years. She paid no rent, so um, yeah. Um, anyway, she uh, never, not not once since I've been. Uh, forcing her to contribute to rent or in the instance of this month pay most of it um and to be fair i think she paid a paid the lion's share of it last month as well um never once has she volunteered uh volunteered money early so that i could have the money order early or at the very least on time so it's, it's, it's creating a tension between me and my landlord where he's, you know, texting me going, hey, are you, you coming with the rent? Are you coming with the rent? Have you forgot the rent? It's like, man, I wish I could. I wish I could forget it. That would be awesome. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, the two, two biggest financial stressors of, my, that, uh, of this month that I've been facing, um, past and both, um, storage rent got paid yesterday. Uh, residential rent got paid today. So, um, I'm good for the rest of the year on that end. That's, uh, that's comforting. Um, next month, things are going to get considerably more difficult because, uh, I forget, I, I, like, I think towards the end of January, my insurance on my cars will expire. And maybe at this point I should be talking to my insurance agent about, um, just canceling that and getting a refund because it's looking like I'm never getting my goddamn car back. At this point, I've got, I've had, I've had, uh, um, uh, five, I want to say, you know, five months, almost five months of prepaid insurance on my Benz, which has not been drivable. And that's, it was my choice, whatever. Um, and, and for what it's worth, the, it was cheaper to insure and I can't explain this. Like I said, insurance companies are ridiculous to me. Um, somehow it was cheaper to insure both the Benz and the Saturn than it was to just insure the Saturn. But it doesn't change the fact that, yeah, I've had uh, six... Well, look at all this garbage. Oh, it's... Well, I wish it was light enough for you all to see it. There's just a ton of garbage on the side of the road here. And a car that kind of looks like garbage. Eh, it's probably body damage. Well, there's a lot of dust on it, though, so I'm thinking that guy's not driving it. Uh, well, and the house behind it looks really dark, so it's probably got homeless squatters in it. Fabulous. Um, anyhow, um, yeah, the, uh, 
Um, gosh, I'm not sure where I'm going right now. I know where I'm not going, and, and that's home. Um, I'm, I'm way too upset at Priscilla to want to be there or to be around here today uh, or tonight. So, uh, pain feels starting to kick in. I'm feeling a little better. That's a good thing. Uh, where the hell am I going? So I should walk to a bus stop and try to, try to get on the McDowell bus. I'm, I'm thinking, oh, where's karaoke? Because it's dark. But the reality is that uh, I'm still three hours away from when most karaoke shows start. So, uh, uh, yeah, I shouldn't even be thinking about that. Um, so, uh, uh, although, you know what? A beer... A beer over at Gypsy's would probably put me in a good headspace and maybe run into some friends over there. I think I'm going to head over there. Uh, so yeah, another video. I haven't really explained what the whole thing is with Priscilla, but I'm sure you've all gathered that I'm not happy about the current situation. Um, uh, okay, I've completely forgot what it was I was talking about. I'm, I'm just lacking focus today and... Uh, anything else I've been wanting to mention? Oh, yeah, I've just been uploading so many videos. Some of them are getting all of one view. So, so yeah, I'm overloading. I'm overloading, y'all. And it's fine. I just have so much I'm trying to get off my chest. And I, I feel like... I feel like at some point... Um, if I do completely self-destruct, at least my family will have some way of knowing, if they care, some way of knowing what happened. So, there's that. Anyway, I'm going to go to the bar and see if I can meet some friends and maybe put myself in a better headspace.